when you're kind of going through that process and you have like this is, it has to happen i'm sure this people are going to be interested in your in your answer to this right and you have like a lot of per- parental involvement and mm-hmm. you know you're you know probably in, in in your situation you know parents are i shouldn't say they're more active but they're you know there there is there is a lot more kind of involvement at, at, a, at maybe in some at some level what happens when you have like conflicting ideals like between parents, like, and yeah. here's the mission of the school. Here's, mm-hmm. you know, but this parent wants something totally different than that, you know, and they're, they're, you know, paying that process. Like wh- how, what happens then? Like, what do you do? Oh, I'm like, We're there's a lot of conflicting what? parent views right now. And like, you know, it's getting complicated. Most definitely. Um, I think you hit the nail on the head. So we have, you know, we've prided ourselves I mean, our school is about 30 years old. The whole time that the, the push has been around more innovative, inclusive education, mm-hmm. um, not because not to do it just to do it, but because the school has always believed that that was the best way for students to learn, mm-hmm. you know, having kind of Daniel Pinkish sort of mastery autonomy purpose over their right. learning and how might we do that in different ways. Uh, and design thinking was super important to us, you know, five to 10 years ago, as we've kind of developed a lot of this too. So there's, if, you know, teachers that work in a school like this, I think feel like they're part of, they have a lot of uh, autonomy. There's a trial and error culture. And that's one of the things that's exciting. Students, I feel like generally speaking, kind of go with what the school is going with, you know, as long as you're tuned into their needs and listening to what they want, you know, it's, there's a good symbiotic relationship between teaching and learning and student experience in, in, in most schools, or at least in this school. And it takes a lot of work and it has to be purposefully done, but that's kind of the, that's the work, right? Like that's when you come to work every day, that's what you're kind of trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. Our parents in my particular context come from traditional learning, like very traditional right. learning environments in Korea, um, in Germany, in China, <laughs> Um, sometimes, you know, from other countries, but those are our kind of predominant kind of groups and they don't necessarily, I mean, in their, in their corporate lives, like that's one of the good connections is like in their corporate lives, Mm -hmm. they are innovating. They understand what, you know, cultures of trial and error do. They understand how autonomy can lead to creativity and they get, they get it. Yeah. But then it's really easy for them to revert back to this idea of, well, I understand that you're doing project-based learning, or I understand that you've got, you know, this, this um, X block is what we call it. It's kind of a genius hour on steroids thing. Yeah. I understand you've got, you've got these things going, but you know, where's the rigor. Right. And you're sort of thinking I have missed a step as an educational leader because I have not properly educated our parent community about, you know, what this is meant to be. So I think that's the key. And I I mean, I'm, Honestly, I'm not exaggerating. I was thinking about this this morning on my bike ride because we just did a a community survey. Like every year we do a community survey and we were getting the results back and we expected it to be a little bit different due to COVID. We've had three different kind of lockdown moments and been in online learning and stuff. And we know that, you know, things are a little disconnected. And we also know that community for a private school and international school, the idea of community is like a value proposition. Like, if you're thinking about spending all this money to put your kids in school, the community is something that we like to offer, but we haven't really been able to offer it because parents can't come onto campus pretty much all year. We haven't been able to have parents on campus. So when we got the results back, there is definitely a mismatch on, on some level between what we're trying to do and what we've been driving at and what our parents expect. And that is, I think it's a really cool opportunity Mm -hmm. and to some extent it's expected, but I think it's a really cool opportunity because that's really where I think the rubber meets the road. If parents fully understand what we're doing and understand that we believe this is much more rigorous than, you know, drilling math problems. Right. And then they say, you know what? I disagree. I'm going to go to a different school. Like that is absolutely fine. Like school choice is a good thing, Mm -hmm. but I don't want to lose students or parents from our community because they don't get it you know what i mean and i that's think fair. that's the key yeah. well I, I think, I, think I, I think 
and I, I'll be first admit that sometimes, you know, I was at fault for this too. You talk about, like I'm saying you as in me, right? You talk about mm -hmm. the idea of like project-based learning, innovation, all these things that are really important and they're kind of where you're going to, but we don't talk about some of the boring, like foundational things that we, because that's not really exciting. It's just kind of like, that's just, you know, what we do Good to point. get to that point. And so then there is that mismatch because of what we, for, we tend to not focus on because I think a lot of people say like, hey, it's like, I can go to this school that focuses on the basics or I can focus on, go to this right. school that focuses on innovation. They're like, well, no, this school is focusing on innovation through actually giving basic skills to get to that point. Yes. Not, it's not an either or, right? It's yes. actually Both saying, how do, we go be, how do we go beyond the basics? Not how do we neglect them? How do we go beyond? Yes. So I think that's a really important aspect.